The Solstice has once again made its return in Destiny. Guardians from all across the world celebrate what it means to be a hero. New gear, new experiences, and last but not least, new Eververse stuff. Wait, really? So the EAC is back. You know, that cool map that comes around every summer? Yeah, that one. Just like last year, we're heading back to this floating city to once again, and my own words can't do it justice. To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of your women. So what are we doing there? Well, outside of crushing your enemy, you're going on an easter egg hunt. Only that easter eggs are chests, and the sugary sweets, well, there are nothing less than non-edible armor and guns. The armor this time around comes in three different levels. You start off with a rare set. This set will require you to get different elemental kills depending on which class you are. You also need to do either Crucible or Gambit, as well as to get 50 super kills, either in PvP or PvE. My personal recommendation is PvE. However, if you are comfortable with PvP, then Momentum Control, which, by the making of this video, is live. When you finish all the steps for the rare gear, you will unlock the legendary Majestic Armor Set by meditating next to the statue in the tower. And this, well, this is where the real grind starts. Here you'll need 10 Gambit matches, Prime if you want speed, or Normal if you want to do the gear objectives at the same time, since Prime doesn't drop elemental orbs. After that you'll need kills in playlist strikes with different elements. You will also need boss kills, guardians defeated, and patrols. The pro gamer move is to have a team of 3, join a strike for the playlist, and do public events or lost sectors, since they will count for any strike playlist activity you need. Gambit guarantees you the 10 bosses you need if you kill the primal, and lost sectors are 1 boss each. The same goes for a lot of public events and even blindwell. There is a lot to do, so take your time and try to avoid burning yourself out. After all of this, you will get to the part where you masterwork the gear. This requires you to complete a Nightfall, the Ordeal on Master difficulty, complete a Nightmare Hunt, complete a Pit of Heresy, winning 7 Trials matches, and it just needs to be wins, not consecutive wins, you don't even need to do it on the same ticket. And finally, you need to complete a Tier 5 Altar of Sorrows. After all of that is done, you unlock that sweet glowing magnificent armor set. So this is where a lot of people seem to get confused. The magnificent armor you get will have random rolls. It will be sunset in a year with the rest of the arrivals gear. And it glows white. With me so far? The universal ornament will look the same. But it will glow with a color depending on what subclass you are. So if you're solar, it will glow orange, arc, light blue, Void, Purple, and Stasis, Dark Blue with Black Dots. So I repeat, Farmable Gear will have a white glow, Universal Ornaments will glow depending on subclass. Also, the Universal Ornament will be 6000 Bright Dust per class, or 1300 Silver, also per class. So that's kind of what Solstice has to offer this year. We might get to see the Traveler's Chosen as well, and if we do, you bet I'm gonna make a guide on it. Also, there's been a lot of criticism towards Bungie with the old Solstice gear, and that their glows are not being ornamented, or that people who bought them should get refunded. Personally, I spent money on the old gear, but honestly, I don't really care about that. I'm just happy that Bungie this time around made a universal ornament for us. So with all of this being said, I want to ask you guys a question. 
How do you like Solstice? And EAC? Is it fun or do you not like it? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching and remind you to subscribe if you haven't. Subscribing is a great way to stay up to date on the latest uploads, as well as a great way to support the channel. Until next time, this is TC Spectre, signing off.